Well, hello everybody, welcome back to episode 45 of my let's play of Torment Tides of Numeli. Numeli, can I say that word right? Numeli. It's something with N. <laughs> anyway, we're getting on base. We talk to this guy who, from time and space, his whole race has been wiped out and he doesn't know why it's just a blackness. And my theory is basically to put it simple he's a computer he's connected to the internet and he's had his wire and there's no wi-fi uh connection it's old modem he's had his wire pulled the plug on him and he thinks his race has been wiped out that's my theory and basically i just see persuading him to talk about it where he thinks they're all dead because he's trying to connect like a hive mind and i don't think they're really dead but I don't know if I'm completely off the bat, completely wrong, we'll find out. Says, do you think I have not tried? He looks down at his hands, and a small simulation of stars winks into being. Huh? He studies them, watching them spin, and he closes his eyes. The stars in his hand begin to wink out. So, see, so he has a bit of a connection then. So, it's like a Wi-Fi signal, but weak. So, maybe I'm right when it, he's connected like his version of his people. So what did he do? He, uh, he looks down at his hand and a small simulation stars wink into the being. So he's looking at them and they're coming to be. Watching his spin, he closes his eyes and the stars in his hand begin to wink out. So basically he's giving up where if he... It seems to be like he's willing to resistance so or he thinks about it and he can connect. But he doesn't think enough and he, they, they disappear. No, that is not true. I have tried. Do, do I know, you ask? I do, yes. It was my doubt. Mind, my question. I asked only, what if uh, our way is not best? What if it was you who doubted him? So this doubt, so supposed to be this, the virus that destroyed the knowledge, was his. What if our way is not best? What if our people have desires of their own? What's that we do not give? What's that we do not give? He places a single hand across his eyes and then slowly slides it away. The others began to see in question. Questions gave way to self-doubt. Self-doubt gave way to self-hate. Self-hate. So did they, did they kill themselves then? Or did they all separate from the, 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 the mine hive and into the internet to become their own pe person? That's why you can't see each other now. And now you're panicking. I wanted only to know what is best. How do we become better not to tear us down? But I should be honest, sorry. Yeah. Done, done yawning, thank you. <laughs> but I shone a bright light on behaviour or on truth, but our centre could not hold on the truth. He wet, terrified eyes fixed on yours. Was I to blame in civilization and I fixed it on me? In dreams I see their faces but their not their minds. Tell me truly is the fault mine? Trained, officially skilled, erase the doubt. No question will make you stronger. Why is it grey? I think you were blameless in this. Yes, you planted the seed. You bear the blame. You could have kept your question to yourself. Are you sure they're gone? What if you, they saw your doubt and just cut you away? That's what I'm thinking. He's been severed. Uh, skill, erase the doubt. No questions will make you stronger. I'm going with that one. Honor dawn, horror dawns on his face. Oh, that was what I wanted. In this way, I cannot feel them. Why? I retain only an image. He closes his eyes and concentrates hard around the bar. Other patients winching cover their ears. Oh, crud. With their hands, you feel the brushing of a great and terrifying howl of anguish. Blade Tyre is a small mountain. See, I don't know what these mean. Apparently, the gold one is when they do a great sacrifice or something like that. But what, what do these mean? He whispers, I am alone. And if you know what they mean, put it in the comments, it'd be great. I would like to know what they actually mean. <laughs> he whispers, I'm alone. I feel an echo, but no true response, as if they hide. He pulls his hands apart, and you have the sense of a vast network of power contained between them. He raises his hands before his face. And then he crumbles his fist. What? The energy it vanishes. I have severed the last connection. The last hope. If they exist still, they must exist without me. Let me be forgotten. No more, he whispers. No more, he drops his head and weeps. Yeah, he's just standing there. Okay, I don't know if I actually helped him or not. My, I don't want to know if my theory is correct or not. Hello? Please, I must be alone. I thought that was, I thought that was the whole problem, because you're alone all the time and you didn't want to be. I'm here, I can be a friend, give me a hug. Nope, but I must be alone. 
You don't want to hook me? Okay, hook the kid. That's all you gotta say now, isn't it? Ugh. All right, here I go. Yeah, okay. See if he likes it. <laughs> oh, she's trying to too. Literally, she just got off his, his, his robe. I think we get that close to him. What's going on? Oh, crud. Uh, probably got your head up some kind of space alien's robe currently. <laughs> How are you holding up inside his robe? I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come along the same Well, you don't have your head up a guy's robe currently, but still. I don't think I'll be alive anymore. I think about that a lot. I don't know how to thank you for it. It's something too big to just thank someone. She watches you patiently. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go. Right where you should have. Oh, I'm doing it again. <laughs> Sideways. What? Something I could do. Yeah, sell the robe. Okay, so I need to chat with the. Oh, who's this dude? Yes. Sir Arthur. I got to chat with all these in him, but she's the one who's supposed to have a vision what she has to get back to. Let's try this question. Call this entry unlocked. Sir Arthur. This man has leather, dark brown skin, and hair as white as the full moon. He peers at you from beneath long strips of eyebrows, sucking on a long pipe, and has been made from either segment wood or the leg of an enormous insect. His clothing is blue and formal, like a priest or a professional of some kind. All over him, on his belt, in every pocket, on both shoulders, even hovering in the air around his head, are glowing, chittering devices of all kinds. I don't see any. That's I just I kind of like this game. That's what the only thing I wish. When they describe these things, they sound so amazing. That's how the animations for it. There should be like little floaty things above him now. So it's like the thing you, you go into this like vast all this gas is flowing. Why couldn't they've done that? And they're probably their budget and stuff. But it's like they're, they're, they're trying to make a game. When the, anim the imaginations just flow, and you can't stop them, what's the best way to do one? But then you don't have the budget to make to really add to that anim animation, animation to to do uh, that. Why does animation <laughs> to that in imagination? Sorry, and that's sad, really, and it's a shame. And hopefully, this company will get good enough to one day we'll have a game where they say this happens and you physically see it happen. Let me guess, he, sh he sucks from his pipe. A ball of green steam floats away from his mouth. You're a traveller. That must, that must, must. It's clear. A explorer, yet you have the look of a farmer visiting a teeming metropolitan for the first time. Okay. He taps, ah, oh, He taps various relics on his person. Never seen the like, have you? Fortunately for you, I adore educating folks on the subject of numer, numera, numeri, the name of the game. <laughs> I've also travelled extensively and seen much of the world. Go ahead, ask me whatever you would like to do. Who are you? Goodness forgive me, he stretches out his hand. Sir Afran Turan, traveller, explorer and a lifelong student of the Numera Numerique. Never said his name right. I have seen everything between here and the steadfast. And I have studied Numera Numerique. Never said the name right of all kinds for decades. There is no man more knowledgeable about that world than he who sits before you, I assure you. So here you again. <laughs> so Aflan, Torah, traveler, explorer, and lifelong student of Numera Numeri, or whatever the name of the game's called. Why are you here? Knowledge, of course. I have traveled all over the steadfast and beyond, but I had to know what was beyond the beyond. Who knows how much time I have left on this world? I wanted to see for myself. Why are you in the time of liberations he lifts his glasses glass enthusiastically i'm trying to determine the nature of these fantastic liquids also uh, the people here are quite informative no better place to learn about a city than its taverns he takes a deep swing from his glass swig from his glass sorry not swing if we break it swing get my glass <laughs> what are the numera numera i can never say it correctly his eyes light up as to do a number of devices on this person. As to a number of devices. 
though you cannot see why the numera, numeri, whatever you say this word is, are practically everything around you. We live among... So basically this this world's mini chlorides from Star Wars. <laughs> we live among the delicious are uh, uncountable civilizations, many of which were more powerful than you or even I can imagine. Everything they left us is the numera numeri, weapons, power, sources, medicines, gels, plants or animals. Why even the very dirt in the ground and shins in your pocket are examples of numera numeri. It's such a broad term that the order of truth has categorized the numera numeri <laughs> with terms like oddities cryptons and artifacts. Of course, any true student of Numera and Marie considers these categories too broad still. I have my own distinctions, but that is neither here nor there. He takes a puff from his pipe. In any case, it is the Numera and Marie that power the wonders of the world. From explorers, whatever word that is, to the data sphere, to the drinks in this very tavern. Did this get longer? It's different. Uh, that came up with steam, so I think it beeped on white beeps. I don't normally get a beeping noise. It's weird. How would you categorize the number A? Number E. Uh, ah, fascinating question. He sets down his drink and leans forward. I'll give you the brief version because you obviously have places to be. Put simply, I am less interested in how useful a device is than in its means of function. He takes a quick puff from his pipe and sets that down as well. Now that the knowledge of prior worlds is far too incomprehensible and varied for us to truly understand which civilizations created what, but we can define some basic categories. He counts each one of his fingers. Many devices deal with for mental forces, gravity, magnet magnetism, sound, light, even time itself, automations and created intelligences fall under artificial intelligence for life so what uh, uh, so automatic and created intelligence formed up by artificial life okay biotechnology covers a wide variety of numera many plants and animals that we consider natural were in fact created by prior worlds for some arcing purpose so you're saying this whole world has been manifested by other civilizations to be here, everything here. So any animal you see, another civilization basically gene sliced and created this animal and then now they're here basically. I guess a bit like us cloning sheep and then and appearing on another, and taking it to another world and they thrive. We, at that point we technically create that sheep, didn't we? Because we cloned one. Or, spl or spl uh, uh, mixing its DNA with a frog and having frog sheep. And then we create a new animal, I guess. Uh, many plants, yeah, I read that, a great prior purpose, the bloom may fall under the category. Someday I'll hire a team to find out if I can find anyone reckless enough. There are chemical devices as well as those dealing in various forms of matter, metals, liquids, crystals and conversations between these three conversions. His eyes light up. The most interesting also, oh, uh, uh, the interesting are also the most esoteric. Nanotechnology, which covers much of what common folk is magic, transcendental tech, and technology related to the data sphere itself. He leans back, reinserting his pipe. But these are just the classifications I prefer, the numera, defy definition. Well, the difference between oddities, cyber artifacts. He takes a long puff on his pipe before answering. For the most part, he says, those terms refer to how useful the device is. It makes sense, as wonderful and powerful as the relics of the past are. Nobody in this why in this world gives a D word unless it can fix their problem. He sighs. They don't care how it works or where it came from, eh? But if they can use it to feed themselves, fight off um if in grass, I guess as a a creature, or at least get them a few extra shins now they're interested. He shows you the back of his fist and sticks out a thumb. Oddities are the least useful, they do something alright, heat your drink, float in the air, make everything you say sound like music, whatever, but it's rarely something anyone can get any utility out of. Oddities are fascinating, but pro pragmatically they're only worth a few shins. 
just then he sticks his finger in the air next to his thumb siphons now they might do anything heal your body shoot a blast of flame teleports you somewhere safe and so on but they volatile whatever they do whatever they do they do it just once and if you don't know what you're doing putting too many together can give you what's called siphon sickness so that's why they can get sick all the time I say that I mean no sense to me but explains it finally what was it about 44 hour episode no 45 episodes sorry into it what was this like 10 20 hours into the game probably at this point ish and I finally know why I get sick by having too many of them around they're so volatile they just can't be around each other that much he puts up a third thing artifacts won't do that that term belongs to devices that last maybe not forever but more than a one shot sickness. can I actually come back to him so because we're in the episode here so like subscribe and good stuff and you next week bye for now everyone have a great day and we'll be talk to him bye